G'day everyone. In the Make Your Own J201 video, I had a couple of people comment about um, this um, stuff that I've got on the desk here. Um, putty looking stuff. Um, I thought that it was a... I don't know if it's an Australian thing. I'm pretty sure it's not, but um, in case you've never seen it before, it's called Blue Tack. There's the packet. Um, and yeah, it's just like a sticky putty sort of stuff. The more I use it, the more I realise that um, it's really good for um, electronics when you're working on stuff on your desk. Um, there's a, quite a few uses that I use it for, but um, you can definitely use it for um, electronics. And I'll just show you one thing I'm doing at the moment. Just building up this pick dropper um, 1590A PCB um, and um, populating the resistors. And I'll just populate a resistor now and I'll show you the way that I used to do it and the way that I do it with the um, blue tack. So previously I'd put the component through and then I put a bit of tape over the front of it like this. And... Um, make sure that the components stuck down properly and then put it on helping hands just using one arm just to hold it um, upright and then solder on the back like that and then of course the helping hands move around and not only that the other thing that really annoys me about this method is that when you push on the back the tape really doesn't hold it down properly and it sort of it kind of floats up a bit um, uh, yeah, I, you're not going to be able to see it on the video probably, but yeah, it sticks up a bit. Um, it does, just, just doesn't hold it down properly when you solder it. So using the blue tack method is similar. I'll just put the um, component through the hole first. <clears throat> so the component's through the hole. Um, and you just push it down on top of the blue tack. And the blue tack holds the component firmly in place. And it also holds the PCB down as well. So um, And it's quicker as well. So you... Firstly, it's quicker, secondly, it's easier, and thirdly, you don't have the component slip out the back um, because it's, it's directly on top of the, um, on top of the blue tack like that, so it just holds it in place. You get a much better, you get a much flatter component. Again, I'm not sure if you can be able to see it in the video. Um, it is only a minor difference, but you might be able to see that the one that I did with the tape kind of sticks up a bit. It's just not as flat as the, all the others I've done with the blue tack. That's that's the only one. The only one that's sticking up is the one that I didn't um, I didn't use the the blue tack on pretty much. They're all they're, they all seem a bit lower. Uh, yeah, it's also good for wire too. So I mean, I won't solder this in. I'll just grab a bit of wire. So the old method, pretty much, I would put the um, wire through on the. Sorry, I just realised. I think the camera wasn't pointing at the um, PCB when I when I um, soldered it uh, with the tape. But yeah, it's just these ha helping hands hold it in place, go in through the bottom, bang bang. Um, yeah. So with the wire, um, this is the old way that I used to do it. Put the wire through. Well, the wire would have to go through the top, and then you do this kind of you do this dance with these um, with these helping hands and twist them around. Oh, you know, I can't get around the right way, and you got to you got to line it up properly. And then the bloody thing moves and the wire falls out and you have the problems like I said before like that. It just it's just such a pain to get this to get it through. I, I don't I don't like them. At once since I've been using this blue tack, I've just realized how much of a pain in the backside those helping hands are. They do come in handy for some things, but um, just for this general small PCB wiring stuff, you just don't need them. Just get rid of those leads on the back from the last joint. Uh, okay, so with the with the blue tack, you can pretty much just do the same thing. You just put the wire through like that, and then you just push it down, and then you just solder it in. And um, it just holds it firmly in place while you solder it. Um, yeah, it's that easy. You don't get the issues of it falling out. It's quicker, um, and yeah, it's just it's just uh, it's just so much easier. So get yourself some blue tack if you haven't got it. It'll make your life a hell of a lot easier, particularly if you're using these helping hands. I don't particularly um, for, for just this general soldering stuff. Uh, I think the the blue tack's great. Um, yeah, that's it. A quick tip, I guess you could say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials, demos, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.